Hello folks, I'm the Ghost with Knife, and welcome back to more Mega Man X4. Last time, as you saw, Iris was super worried for our safety as we scurried off into a snow base and defeated Frost Walrus and stopped the crazy weapon out there in the Arctic. And we also survived an incredibly explosive encounter with Jet Stingray and his insane waterproof beret. Now, some of you guys might have questions after that last episode. Wait, Ghost! Uh, Jet Stingray didn't give you a weapon technique, technically. He just gave you air dash, and that's one really cool thing about playing a Zero. All of Zero's bosses for his Mavericks don't necessarily have a weakness, because normally, Jet Stingray beats a different boss on the weakness chain. That's one really cool thing, is that with Zero's weapons, he is actually more limited with bosses' uh, weaknesses. So, to make up for this, his sword is actually better than Mega Man's Buster. A, because you gotta get, get in close with it to get value out of it, but B, it actually does more damage and is actually slightly faster, I believe, because bosses' iframes are, I think, a little bit less than when you hit them with the Z-Saber, which is a really cool feature. But also, a really cool thing about Zero is because he doesn't have all the boss weaknesses, he can kind of just do what he wants to and go where he wants to. Now, I've been thinking a little bit about where I want to go, and I still don't quite know where I want to go next. I just want to get that little ex that little blurb out of the way, so I'll be back when I actually figure out where I'm going, which for you guys isn't going to take any time at all. All right, I've debated with myself a little bit on this, and I figured out the kind of path I want to go through this time with Zero. Normally, I wouldn't take this path, but I'm doing this a little bit for efficiency's sake so we can go back and hit something that we already missed earlier in our playthrough. So we're actually going to be doing... Magma Dragoon next. Normally, I like to save this boss for later, but there's a reason everyone does him. First with Zero, he has an incredibly powerful weapon that is actually two bosses' weaknesses, technically. So, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. It's time to take on the Traitor. Which, as you can see, the, the translation for Maverick Hunter is Irregular Hunters, because in... in the Japanese version of this game, they're called the Irregular Hunters, which is kind of weird. But yeah, this is the volcano base that Magma Dragoon has hidden his way out of. There's no real reason Repo Force should be here other than to look for Magma Dragoon. OH GOSH! <clears throat> I forgot how fast those come out, but yeah, there's giant crazy fireballs trying to kill us in, in, the, in the volcano base, and I forgot I could just jump up there and not have to deal with it. But yeah, there's crazy fireballs coming up, down, left, and right. And I will say, this music is pretty awesome. It's not my favorite soundtrack in the game. Honestly, the Marine Base is one of my favorites, just because of how hype it is. But this one's pretty good. Honestly, I don't really have any complaints about the majority of the soundtrack in this game. As I... I am not showcasing the best of my abilities with this playthrough, and it's making me upset. So we're gonna dash up here real quick so we can dodge these. I have not played this game in forever, and I am making a fool of myself, and I'm really- I'm actually getting mad at myself because this is- I should not be dying as often as I am. I swear it's only because I'm recording, and I'm starting to get frustrated. Like, I know that, like, I, a lot of people say that for content, but, like, I'm actually getting mad at myself for this. As I almost die again! Come on, Ghost! Get your game face on! As you can see, there's all sorts of crazy fireballs, there's bats, there's... Not necessarily Metools, but Metools... Uh, but yeah, there's all sorts of crazy hazards in this area, and this is one of my least favorite enemies in the game. It's very hard to actually get behind them to deal with them. And Zero actually, in my opinion, struggles to fight them. I, I very rarely can get through that area without getting hit. And now the fireball has come back! Oh, man. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of my favorite parts of this, this level is the fireball section. It's such a cool idea. As I just take a bunch of unnecessary damage. Now, where is that drop? Is it... Did I miss it? Is it in section two? I think it's in section two. Oh god! Hmm. <clears throat> I think it is in section two, because it wouldn't make sense that you can get it from there. I might die for this, but yeah. As you can see, there's now fireballs raining from the sky. 
Now I don't know why so many fireballs are in a vol active volcano. I guess it's, you know, just really cool. It is a really cool thing to watch, but yeah, those fireballs actually destroy the platforms you're trying to stand on. What's this? It's it's a giant right armor? Holy crap! We haven't seen that since the last game and the mess that that was. Now, this is the thing that I was really nervous about because this is not the easiest thing to grab, but I got it on basically the first try. But yeah, that's that's actually where the heart tank is. And for us, that is the last thing Zero needs in this level. So we're gonna kind of try to pick up the pace here as I continue to embarrass myself. I'm gonna die. Oh, thank gosh we got it. But yeah, the right arm is back and it's red. And it's got a crazy, I need to not take damage. It's very important that I don't take damage. So I can actually beat the boss without having to use my heart tank. But yeah, the right armor's back. It's got some crazy, like, fist blade. It's really cool. And I will say that normally with X, we do want to go up there. And we have to use the right armor to get up there. But we don't have X right now. We've got zero. So let's get into this. And what's this? That, that's a boss screen. But I'm in right armor. Wait a minute. Zero. It's really you. Why did you betray us? Answer me, Dragoon! I have no answer for you, my friend. Dragoon! That's right, we're fighting Dragoon! And he's shooting crazy fireballs! We can fight him with the friggin' mech! And not take damage, it's super cool! And yes, he's doing Hadoukens! You are not being perceived, he is actually Hadoukening us! If I was a little bit better at this game, I would be taking less damage, but I'm not! Oh no, the right armor's about to blow up. But yeah, you can actually fight him with the right armor. It's one of the best parts about this boss. And he does Shoryukens too! Okay, I'm actually gonna heal because I really don't want to die. Because I want to showcase what this boss does. But yeah, he has freaking crazy fireball breath. He throws crazy like meteor things. Shoryukens do, he's nuts! But yeah, Diamond Dragoon is regarded as like the best boss in this game by a lot of people. And he can actually hit you with the Shoryukens if he edge techs you like that. Come on, do your other thing. Come on, he should do his ultimate! And he starts doing three Hadoukens. Big fire breath. I'm waiting for him to do the last attack so I can showcase it. Here he goes! It's the fireball rain from heck, but then you beat him up and it doesn't matter. You kill him in one life, but yeah, that's one of the best parts about this game. You can actually take a ride armor into the boss fight who is doing Street Fighter moves to fight you. It's awesome. Dragoon is not one of my personal favorite Mavericks, but I can definitely see why a lot of people like him. He is a dragon that shoots the Dukens and sure you can see that you can fight with a mech. Now, I took a lot of damage getting into him, and I took a lot of damage with the mech in the fight, but you can actually beat him with the mech and not take a lick of damage if you're good enough. Again, I am really out of practice. That's the main reason I could not do it this time around. But yeah, it's a really, really cool feature. And honestly, one of the, again, it's just a really classic moment in the series that you can have, and it's so, so cool. Mega Man X4 is just such a great game. There's awesome music, awesome boss fights, and I will say, if you do hit the lava, if you don't have iframes like I did, you will take damage. It will not kill you, but it will take a little bit of ship damage. But yeah, that's the Magma Dragoon fight. <clears throat> I wanted to defeat you. Then... He appeared. He? Who? He told me he'd give me power. Only if I worked for Repliforce. What? I couldn't refuse the offer. Sorry, Zero. Dragoon! And then he dies. So, fun fact about the game. So, before we get into the... To the weapon here, it's a bit of a bit of a somber tone. Dragoon is actually the one who blew up the reactor. That's right. It wasn't um Eregion. It was actually Magma Dragoon, and that's why he was there in the first place. As I kinda hinted with X as I went through in that first episode with X, but yeah, 
Magma Dragoon is responsible for the destruction of Sky Lagoon and all of those lives lost just because he wanted to beat X and Zero. It's it's nuts. It's in a way it kind of makes him almost vile like, which is which is a really cool callback with that. It's a very subtle callback, but it is a bit of a callback. Anyways, Ryunjin is honestly the best technique for Zero in the game. This technique is is the best. It's uh, it's so useful. There are so many bosses that hate this weapon. I love it. It's so good. Up and special move button on the ground. A powerful attack that burns enemies with flames. Some objects may be burned with this technique. And with this technique, we can actually do a little bit of backtracking before I get to the halfway point of this episode with two heart tanks and a life tank now. Before we get to our next actual area we're going to, we are actually gonna go back to the snow base. Cause you remember, in the last episode, we came in here, we couldn't really get to a certain area. And while I'm here, I'm actually gonna try to get a, uh, a life. And as you can see, yeah, we can air dash. I don't know if I actually got to showcase that. Cause I was so focused on not dying. But yeah, you can, we can air dash now, yay! Now, it's not the easiest thing to do. Okay, I don't think I can. Hang on a second, I need to get the spacing right. You can actually use the technique to get right up there. I'm trying, that snowman does respawn every time, which is kind of problematic. I've just got to space it, just son of a goat. There's another way to get up here, but I really want that life, so. We're gonna try one more time. I've seen, I've done it before. Ugh! If you can clip that little thing down there, you can get the life. There is another way to do it with zero, but I'm just severed. Don't mind me. I'm going to try one more time. Yeah, okay. I have been able to do it once before. You can barely clip the pixel underneath that uh, life just right. There's another life we can grab, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But yeah, if you have the Ryunjin, you can actually use it to get that life without the actual weapon you're supposed to get it with. And one thing. The Ryunjin just obliterates these guys in one shot. Which is one of the cool parts of the weapon. But more importantly, another life tank! Booyah! Now, the main reason we're going to continue just a little bit more so I can get this life up here. Because I have no extra mans right now. Anyway, so yeah. One extra heart tank. And a little bit of life for our next level. Oh my gosh. So that is three heart tanks down. Out of the three levels we have been to, we no longer need to go back to that level. And before we get back into it, I'm going to take a short break. So we'll be right back with more right, We're Zero. back. And now we have defeated Dragoon. We've beaten three bosses. And it's time to showcase Dragoon's weapon more in a utility way. Because now we're going to be going to the jungle base. After this jungle base, we will technically have almost every weapon to defeat the rest of the Mavericks. Now, one Maverick in particular, we, we absolutely need his weapon to beat him, in my opinion, because without it, he's just a little bit too rough. But with Ryunjin, we actually have two Mavericks weaknesses. One of them, if you couldn't guess, is Frost Walrus. Who could the other be? You'll have to stick around. As now we enter the jungle base. It's Web Spider. Now, I don't know if Web Spider also has a beret. In some of the promotional art that I've seen him with, it doesn't look like he does. But from that screen, it looks like the blue thing above him is a beret. And I've always thought Web Spider had a blue beret. So, yeah, I'm actually going to pull up the actual like art from the manual on this part. Just so you can see if he actually does or not. Because I'm kind of curious. Hey, post editing goes to here. Yes, we are really doing this. Um, I have just genuinely been curious if he's had one or not, and I had almost convinced myself that he had for literally years. And in the editing part of the video, I was like, you know what? Let's let's actually find out real quick. So as you can see in this promotional image, it's actually really hard to tell if it's a collar or a hat, thanks to the weird like blue bumper things he has on his feet. And I was about to give up and be like, no. It's not a beret. When I actually found this promotional image, which is um, 
one half of something that you see in um, the manual. And as you can obviously see, yes, it is Bray. I was right. Praise me and my almighty talent to tell pixel art with berets. I will say, there's actually three bosses in this game with berets, and I'll let you guys, the audience, find out which ones they are. Anyways, back to the action. Okay, so that's a little dispute. If, if, if I was right, there's text. If I was wrong, then just put it right there, because, you know, I'm dumb like that. Anyways, welcome to the jungle. Hey, look, it's a rainbow. What a nice thing to enter to. But the jungle level is not a hard level. I will say that right now, this is a level that I should be able to very, very, very easily clear. A lot of people... Are you serious right now? Give me a second. Got that. My, uh, my display shelf just fell over, and I'm not quite sure why. It's like a ghost knocked over something. There's some other stuff that got knocked over, but... I got it taken care of to a degree that I won't freak out about it with my mild OCD. But look at that, it's like crazy, like, stegosaurs with tridents! <laughs> Not something you'd see in a jungle now, would you? Stegosaur reploids? But these things should look a little familiar. We've seen variants of them in other games, but yeah, these little wall climbers are everywhere. Look down here, what's down here? It's nothing. Well, you were expecting something? Get out of here, there's nothing down here. Don't be crazy! Anyways, let us continue our way to the jungle base as I continue to embarrass myself. And you know what? Forget this. We're getting you out of here! And the Reunion, as you saw, does a little bit more damage than the Z Saber. Oh my god. Does more damage than the Z Saber. And most of the time, will one shot most enemies in the game, as well as just rip through certain bosses. And yeah, you can hit those. They're normally spinning out of control, so you can't hit them. But you can hit them to stop them from moving to give you a little bit more ease of access to certain areas. But yeah, this level, like I said, it's not a hard level. You just need to have a little bit of skill. Now, this section is a little tricky with Zero if this is the first level you pick. But again, we beat Jet Stingray, so I can just air dash this log. Normally, you gotta... Uh, do a dash jump instead of an air dash like this, but yeah, with the air dash, that just becomes a hell of a lot easier to do. But yeah, these uh, Stegosaur enemies, you can actually hit both of them with the weapon. I completely forgot for the second, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, I look cool because I got rid of both of them in one swing, because I'm cool like that. But yeah, the blue ones are more likely to do their, um, to do their trident attack. The green ones like to do a jumping slash, as you see. Yeah, the blue ones like to do a actual like attack with the trident, and I'm back to full health like I was in the beginning of the game because I didn't fail because I'm good at this game. But yeah, these these Stegosaur enemies. This is the only time we're gonna see them, and it's kind of sad because I actually really like these enemies. And you take on these ambushing enemies, and then you get to this door to the secret base, which you can blow up instantly with a flame sword. And I forgot about it, but yeah, the the for. Zero, he basically gets a sword Shoryuken, which is which is pretty cool. Oh, snakes! Anyone remember Mega Man 3 with Snake Man? I certainly don't want to, but yeah, this is one of the more interesting aspects of the level. They're these little electro webs with little spiders that try to kill you, and it's really cool. Hang on. Boom! Shakalaka using my weapons to my ability. Now, uh, normally... Oh, there's a sneaky snake in there. I wonder if there's any more! There were, but yeah, that's one cool thing about this, this area. There's actually like ambushing enemies from the ceilings. But if you have the reunion, this level is uh, kind of a cakewalk, so. Or we're just good at the game like I am. As I have showcased expertly throughout this entire Let's Play. You know what? I don't need to deal with this. Actually, I do. So that's one thing about Zero. <clears throat> that's one thing about Zero's playthrough with this. He actually has a really easy time destroying these big beehives, which will continuously shoot these little like wasp or bee enemies. Which can be problematic, but if they're huge shit, you don't gotta care and you can kill all of them in one shot like I did. I didn't leave one. Nah, you're crazy. <laughs> but yeah, with Zero's techniques, because he takes no energy, you can actually kind of spam them if you need to. It's really a really nice feature that Zero has over X. Which is a lot of the reason people like that. Now, normally, you gotta like jump your way up here. 
and you gotta destroy the spider web, and then you gotta go through there. But because we planned ahead, we can do this! That's right, you can light the trees on fire. It's so cool. There's so many cool things you can do in the game. It's awesome. Uh, th mm. Nobody saw that. Let's use our Ryujin to absolutely obliterate enemies in this game. Because I am good at this game, as you can see. And there is the level's heart tank. As I failed to get it. I'm good at this game, I swear. Okay, you want to know why? Because I'm about to make a comeback. Because we're going to... Reunion up here! And then afterwards, yeah, yeah, there's normally another spider web, but we're going to reunion through here and take a shortcut. Like I said, I'm good at Mega Man. Going to despawn those enemies, so it looks really cool when I do this and kill everybody and then get rid of all the spiders up here, which is something that honestly makes... Zero going through this level, especially with the Reunion, is a breeze. Just because this weapon is so good in this area. It is so rewarding to use. And yes, as you can see, you can actually do the uppercut into the downward slash if you've got enough skill, like I do. See, I'm not bad at this game. Now it's time. Is that a laser cannon? Laser cannon death sentence? So like I said, from this angle, it looks like he's got like a really big beret, but I think it's like a collar. I think I'm just stupid. I'm not sure. I've always thought he had like a big blue beret on. I could be very well wrong. I already showed you if I was wrong or not. Just wanted to point that out. But from this angle, it looks like a beret. It could be. I think it is. So <clears throat> if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong and I look stupid. Ah, Zero. I've been expecting you. Spider, you work for Repliforce? So, fun fact, um, much like Magma Dragoon, uh, Web Spider is actually formally from the Maverick Hunters. But before all of the stuff with Rebel Force happened in this game, he actually transferred over because he was just sick and tired of, of Zero and X. I think it's mainly Zero that he hated in particular, which is kind of a weird thing with Zero, as, as we're going to find out through these games. A lot of Reploids really don't like working with him. <laughs> yes, I need a Renegade unit now. Actually, they're not a Renegade unit. Um, before we get back into this, I, I do want to say that I read a little blurb. Um, he's actually not, I might have actually read it for the thing earlier, but I'm going to say it again anyways in case I didn't. He's actually the leader of his own, like, kind of, like, black ops kind of unit where they kind of go in. They're like a stealth spec ops or, like, stealth unit or something. It's really, really cool. And it does give a little bit more life to these characters. And yes, that is a weird-looking web he's got, isn't it? <clears throat> There's still time to call off the coup! No, I know where my loyalties lie. Here we go, it's time for Web Spy- What the heck? We hit him and he's got this big electro- What is that?! We gotta smack him out of that where- the thing there. But yeah, one thing about Web Spider is his weakness is probably the weirdest weakness in the entire game. As you can see, it's not actually Ryunjin. His weakness is you have to basically hit his web with the special weapon to knock him off and make him fall. It is one of the weirdest weaknesses in the game. But as you can see, the- Oh, nope! But yeah, the- Getting hit by the Electro Web is, is brutal, because it does a lot of damage. So you want to try to dash over it. This is one of the bosses you actually got to be really careful with with your movements. This is why having the air dash against this boss is very, very good. It's one of the big reasons I went to- Fight Jet Stingray first, but now he's at half health. And now what's going- Oh, what the heck? He's got a web! And I actually messed up the timing on that, because these spiders are actually pretty problematic to deal with. And they don't die in one hit, as you can see, which makes this boss a little bit tricky. Now this phase, in my opinion- Oh, crap! Is a little bit easier to deal with, when you're not dumb. But yeah, you can dash th through the webs a lot easier, as you can see. And then you can knock him down off his web, and that's what he looks like when you hit him off his web. He actually falls. It's a really cool animation. And then he strings his way back up into the uh, into the tree. It's really cool. And that's Web Spider. He's a pretty unique Maverick. It's interesting to see like his first phase is actually harder than his second phase. There's not a lot of Mavericks that are like that. But yeah, well, he's got the, the the summons he has with little spiders, and he does do contact damage, and he's a little bit tricky. But if you can get the spacing down, 
Chunk Web Spider was not that hard to beat. And now we get Raijin Geki. You just press the special move button on the ground, and it does a lightning attack, effective against distant enemies. And before we go, I'm actually going to showcase it, just so you guys can get a little bit of a taste of one of the cooler aspects of the game. But yeah, now we have four heart tanks and four moves. We're going through this game heck of a good way, aren't we? Wait a minute. <clears throat> I have a message from Repliforce. Zero! I'll be waiting at the Memorial Hall! Be there! Don't go, Zero. Don't fight him. This is a matter of personal pride. There's no avoiding this. I must go. Colonel! What? I'm disappointed in you, Colonel! <laughs> What do you think you're doing? It's not too late. Stop the coop now. Never. If that's your decision. Prepare yourself! Very well then. I'll spare your life for now. But next time, there'll be no mercy. Zero, please, don't fight with my brother. If you do, I'm afraid that one of you may end up... Someone must stop Repliforce. Zero! So, yeah, the voice acting may not be great, but halfway through the game, as you see, you actually have an encounter with Colonel, but Iris convinces both you and Zero, or you and the Colonel, to not fight. To just try to be friends, man. Anyways, that is the halfway point of the game. I kind of forgot that was coming, but yeah. Iris actually has an important interaction in this game. She has a lot bigger of a role than Mega Man Extreme 2, but she is a really cool side character because, yeah, she her, she just doesn't want her brother to get hurt, but she also doesn't want Zero to get hurt. Now, to showcase this new technique, we're going to go right back into the jungle real quick before we go, just so you can see off what this bad boy does, because I might not use it too much. I'm going to try to showcase the, uh, the techniques as I can throughout the playthrough, but this is... The technique, as you can see, it takes a little bit to charge up, but there's a cool trick they don't actually tell you about where you can swing, swing, and you don't have any charge whatsoever. That's right, you can use it mid-combo whenever you want, but you can't you can't use it as a after the third swing of the combo, as you can see. You can do one, two, bam, but you cannot do one, two, three, bam, or you can do one, bam. It's very awesome. It's a very, very tricky technique to, to master, but it has a lot of value if you can. And that is uh, Raijin Geki. Anyways, that is all the time we've got for Mega Man X4 for now. Thank you for tuning in, and next time, the adventure continues. But where will we go next? Find out in the next episode.